throw the bums out. If we all stick together, we can do it. And we know we can do it because we have. We started the Conservative Society for Action 18 months ago in anticipation of what was going to happen. We knew that Obama was going to get elected. We knew that the House of Representatives was going to have a filibuster-proof majority. We knew that they could do what they wanted. And as we've seen in the last 18 months, they have. They've wrecked our country, but they've also created a great movement. That movement is called the Tea Party Movement. Our That's pretty much been our motto. I was going to say it, but thank you for doing it for me. <laughs> silent no more. In the past, there has been a great silent majority. We know that it's had political power in the past. But things have changed. We can't be silent, and we haven't. That's why we formed Conservative Society for Action, nine, 12 other groups. I see Tea Party group members from Nassau County that are here and from across the state. We've done great things already. But when we formed the organization, we formed it with one thing in mind, November 2010. Every All politics is local. And when I say that, I mean it. Because if you look at the great two bills that were passed by the House of Representatives in the last year, cap and trade legislation, the health care bill, the stimulus bills, did you see the votes, how close? None of those bills could have passed if four representatives on Long Island, Tim Bishop, Steve Israel, Carolyn McCarthy, and Gary Ackerman voted no. Those people vote like they're from San Francisco. They don't deserve to be our representatives. We have to throw them out. If those four people are gone, just those four people on Long Island, it will have a national impact. It will have a national impact because they will never be able to get the votes to do that again. There are a lot of people out there who said maybe it's impossible to make a big change. No, it's not. If 4% of the people in America change their mind, we win. 4% of the people means eight points at the poll. We can do it and we will. So I want to ask everybody to show up. Show up in November. John Gomez is our candidate here against Steve Israel. Steve Israel sits behind his constituent services not on his record in Washington. You go to Steve Israel, if he was standing here today, he says, you know what, I'm a great guy. I stand up for veterans. You know, I had a cancer screening in my office last week. I helped out in the blood drive. Yeah, thanks a lot, that's great. Every member of Congress does that. You do it, we do it, everybody does that. That's not why we sent you to Washington. Not to sell out future generations. This man has to be replaced. Steve Israel is part of the problem, a Nancy Pelosi puppet. The Founding Fathers said eternal vigilance is necessary. You'll have the greatest republic in the history of the world if you can keep it. We intend to keep it, we intend to fight for it, and the way we do it is at the ballot box and supporting people like John Gomez to, to defeat people like Steve Israel. I'm calling on everybody here to make sure that we make that commitment and that we throw the bums out. <laughs>